about um, after New Year, you know the, the beginning of New Year and you're all excited, you're like, I'm going to change my life, this is it, 2019, I'm going to do vegan January, yeah, I'm going to do vegan no booze, Ooh. I'm going to do all these things, I'm going to look amazing, I'm going to feel amazing, I'm going to be a new person, I'm going to change my job, I'm going to change my life, I'm going to meet the man of my dreams, all of that. After about nine or ten days, you kind of go, it's wearing off a bit, isn't yeah. it? No, mm. I'm not. No, uh, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not going to do that. No. You've done a week. I've done a week. You're I've bored. No, I've no booze. Yeah, really bored. It's really boring. Mm. Give up. Give Lose up. up. Go, back. Go back to who you know you are always going to be. Go back to who you are. The loser that you know. You're never going to change. No. <laughs> all these ideas, all excited. Mm. Yeah, all of that. All of that. So we are trying to give you some ideas on uh, keeping focused and keeping going. Number one. It's a point we've probably made before, but it's actually much easier to give something up completely than to try and have less of it. Because the battle that you have in trying to cut down is so much harder than um, making that decision that I'm not the kind of person that does that. And actually they say that to make changes, it has to become integral to who you are. So it becomes part of your identity. So, you know, when someone offers you a uh, Okay, you go, do you know what? I don't do sugar. Not, I'm trying to cut down. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. Oh, oh please let good. me. Oh, I might have a little bit. Oh, oh I'll start oh, tomorrow. Why not? Yeah, all that I'll start that. tomorrow. You have to kind of make it integral to who you are. So it's like, you know, I don't, I don't do sugar. And, um, and, but invest in that and say, I really enjoy not doing sugar. I've got loads of alternatives. Um, I make the most amazing date balls. Um, things like that. So that's number one tip, although that doesn't sound very inspiring that you have to give up the things that you think you love. But actually, once you do give them up for good... There's the, real freedom in that. And the battle of trying not to have it is gone. The argument you're having in your own head, do you want to go, I don't need to go on, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, ah! You know, and there are some alternatives out there. Of course, uh, we're about to do a vegan retreat this weekend. We make amazing, uh, naturally occurring sugar uh, vegan cake. Number three is you've got to keep in your mind's eye of who you want to become because the, the the patterns that you create today are who you will become tomorrow yeah so don't think don't think short term yeah think long term think about how you want to be in 10 years time and you don't want to be that person that you've always wanted to change and you never do i think sometimes you get to that point and i think a lot of people do get to that point and you go I, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up of trying to change, that yeah, whole trying yeah, yeah. to change and then feeling disappointed in yourself that you haven't changed and you know I, we, I've been there you know when I was battling with alcohol years ago and trying to make new choices and never being able to and then sort of it starts to affect your self esteem so keeping focused on who you want to become and who you are becoming, who you are evolving to be is in all the little choices that you make every single day of your life. Yeah, and um, enjoying that, enjoying that, just having having real pride in who you're becoming and, you know, how you want to live and, because I think a lot of it boils down to everyone wants to be happy, don't they? Yeah. Um, and it's all about, I think it's all about energy and what you put into yourself um, creates energy and you can feel uh, and tired and hungover and 25 coffees. Um, or you can, you know, jump out of bed and give yourself half a chance. Um, I would say number three, keep inspired. Number four. Uh, whatever. Um, you know, just look at other people, read books, watch inspirational videos, look at other people that have done it. Follow and, people on Instagram that really inspire you. Um, yeah, and I, I would join communities. So, so if, it's, if it's weight that you want to lose, you know, join other people, talk to other people, do it with friends. Um, yeah, reach out. Also, I think what happens with, with changes, if you really stick to them, and, and, and it also it takes about 40 days to make, make a change. So if you do it for a week and you don't feel anything, it's because you haven't done it for long enough. Yeah. Um, it's quite exciting. It, I think if, you, if you're able to accomplish something and make changes, it's very liberating and it's exciting and you think, do you know what, I don't have to be the person I don't want to be.